I'm going to be reviewing the all new Jackhammer Stealth Blade. Um, obviously, it has a clear blade, so we will get right into that. Perfect! underwater footage I'm going to throw them on the same rod the only difference from the rod is the price point one is a hundred dollars more and then I'm going to be throwing it on a 15 pound test and then we're going to do underwater for action if the blade's more invisible which it should be and then um, sound so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and we will see the first thing I did notice when I bought it is uh, I'll insert a picture I don't have my jackhammer up here, but the blade is a lot smaller, and this loop, that loop is way bigger, I don't know if you see where the blade connects to the head, so it's directly connected, but it's not, it's, it'll still make contact with it, and it's angled, y'all may not be able to see that, it's angled on the back side, I think so that it'll deflect when it hits, see when it hits, deflects and it should go like that but other than that that and there is just a uh, there's not an egg snap swivel it's just like a it's not a split ring but it's like split ring but other than that it looks the same it's got the same hook keeper and all of that so where I think this will be good is clear water and pressured fish of course but with that being said I'm gonna get into the underwater underwater footage they all look good and got this is spot remover got green pumpkin and then clear water shad and the other two are just the same colors all in half ounce so I will get into the underwater footage Okay, so I don't have a half ounce spot remover on the regular so I'm just gonna use a different color but the blades are the same. The other thing, the hook is almost like a finesse hook. It's a lot thinner and it's smaller. I think it's, I think it's probably a four rod. Does it say? It doesn't say on this. But I'm thinking it's a three or four rod, like flipping type hook. So, oh no, but. That'll be pretty good though. It had more stuff to it. He smoked it. The little guy smoked it. Woo that would be my first bass on the clear water chatterbait. Or not clear water, clear bladed. And he choked it. This fish is cold. This fish is straight up cold. That is weird. Well. Caught like 15 shorts on Roberts though during the regional. Yeah, I saw him eat that. 
choked. After fishing with it and messing around with the stealth blade, my opinion on it is, I think this the uh, the original definitely has a little bit more thump. But I think the thought process behind this was for it to be more finesse and stealth as the name is. So I think that's why it's a little quieter. This is almost like a motorcycle sound and this is like a legit like jackhammer in the, uh, in the ground. They both start up the blade moving at around the same time like it's real quick. And then um, you can burn them and they won't really blow out unless you absolutely burn it. But they'll stay up on the surface and twitch. But... I like them. They definitely have a place. It's almost like literally the finesse jig of chatterbaits. Like, it's just everything's more smaller, more compact. The only thing I would do is I'd probably cut down my trailer or put a baby fluke on the back to really make it small and finesse. But that's it. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and, um, should have a Fort Gibson video out soon. I leave. Guess when this comes out, it'll be tomorrow to go down there. Tournaments on Wednesday. So, you should check those out. Thanks for watching.